Hello, dear students. Welcome to our channel, Up School. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss some basic points related with volumetric analysis. As in class 12th, our first experiment is related with volumetric analysis. So I'm going to discuss some important points because whenever we perform the volumetric analysis, we have to take care these important points. So these are very beneficial. So let's start. Now the first question is what is volumetric analysis? Ab jo volumetric analysis hai, it is something which where we talk about volume. So it is a quantitative analysis. So this is a technique of finding volume of one solution which will react with fixed volume of other solution. Now, normally we use the word titration. Up in titration, one of solution is taken in conical flask, just ko hum titration flask bhi bolte, and other is added from the burette till the reaction is just complete. And this is process. Titrant. Titrant hai solution of known concentration. Ab isme ek solution ki concentration hume already pata hai. And analyte. The solution of unknown concentration. So, ek ki concentration se hum dusre ki concentration predict kar rahe hain. Tighter value, the burette value, that is tighter value. Ab hum commonly use term karte hain, standard solution. Now, what is standard solution? Solution whose concentration is known, whose strength is known. Ab ye do tarah ka hai. One is primary standard solution. Other one is secondary standard solution. Primary standard solution is that solution which can be prepared directly by weighing. Simply you weigh the sample, dissolve and the solution is ready. But it should have conditions. It should not contain impurities. Means if they are present, they should be negligible. It should not be hygroscopic or deliquescent means it should not absorb moisture, otherwise its molarity will change. For example, Mohor salt, this is its formula, oxalic acid, these are two examples of primary standard solution. So, now secondary standard solution? Kya hai? The substances which do not fulfill above requirements, means they may contain impurities, they may not be highly soluble in water, and they may absorb moisture. So its molarity is not fixed. It is variable like KMnO4, sodium hydroxide. So now we do titration? Mein kya karte hai? One solution is primary solution, primary standard solution. From its molarity, we are going to determine molarity of secondary standard solution. This is purpose of volumetric analysis, titration. Now here apparatus used is, one is burette. It is of 50 ml, top zero, bottom is 50. One is pipette. The pipette may be 10 ml or in la some labs it is 20 milliliter or ye mark likha hoga. Other one is, third one is titration flask in which we will perform the titration. No doubt, iske ilawa hamare paas hai funnel, burette stand, but these are the three main apparatus about which we are talking. So, our plus two CBSE me titrations hai in syllabus that is potassium permanganate versus Mohor salt titration number one. Second, potassium permanganate versus oxalic acid. Now, what type of titration it is? It is redox means oxidation and reduction is taking place and potassium permanganate is oxidizing agent. So it means mohor salt and oxalic acid will definitely be reducing agent. Mohor salt reaction. Ab jab hum mohor salt ka reaction likhte hain, to humare paas reaction kya hai? Potassium permanganate, this is mohor salt. Sulfuric acid, we are adding during titration. We will just talk, we hum discuss karenge. The product form is potassium sulfate, manganese sulfate, ferric sulfate, ammonium sulfate, and water. 
Now here oxidation state of manganese is plus seven and from plus seven, it is reduced to plus two. Of course, it is clear it is oxidizing agent undergo reduction. In Mohor salt, ferrous plus two is converted to ferric plus three and ammonium sulfate is spectator ion. It is not participating in reaction. It is simply dissociating. So you can note down the main points because we will just perform titration of Mohor salt and these points have to be considered, have to be in your mind. What is purpose of adding dilute, dilute sulfuric acid during titration, which we have this reaction here. In neutral and weak alkaline medium, potassium per manganate get reduced from plus seven oxidation state to plus four, but its color is brown. But in acidic medium, plus seven to manganese two, is may manganese two? In manganese sulfate, oxidation state of manganese is plus two and its color is buff color very light color. So here end point can be detected quite easily. That's why we are adding dilute sulfuric acid, a very important question for viva also. Now we have what we have in burette? Potassium permanganate and titration flask mein mohor salt plus dilute sulfuric acid. So if the pipette is of 10 ml, 10 ml each, and in some of the schools pipette is 20 milliliter, then will be 20 milliliter each. Or if we do oxalic acid titration, then the titration flask will contain oxalic acid and dilute sulfuric acid. Now, generally, we talk about in titration indicator. What is its role to check endpoint? It should be chosen in such a way that visible endpoint matches with theoretical equivalence point. Here, potassium permanganate act as self-indicator. No external indicator is added. Endpoint where reaction is complete and here it is colorless to pink color. So potassium permanganate will impart pink color when the redox reaction is complete. In oxalic acid titration, the solution in titration flask has to be heated till 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. So only difference is that here we are supposed to heat it, but mohor salt may heating is not required because this reaction is slow and it requires activation energy. So here covalent bond has to be broken between carbon and carbon and CO2 has to be escaped. So the reaction move in forward direction. Even a core question is may important hota hai, reaction is very slow in the beginning and become faster after some time. So this is reaction of oxalic acid with KMnO4 in acidic medium. Reaction is slow because requires activation energy, but after some time it becomes faster because the manganese sulfate hai, it act as auto catalyst. So, shuru mein manganese sulfate hai nahi. Jaisi manganese sulfate banna shuru hua, it will act as auto catalyst and reaction will proceed very quickly. You will see when you perform the titration in the beginning, the KMnO4 pink color is not discharged properly, but after some time it becomes faster. Burit and pipit has to be rinsed with the same solution with which you want to fill it. Otherwise, what will happen? Molarity of solution will change. Because if in burette, there are some little water droplets in the pipette, then the solution, its volume will be different. So molarity will be changed. But titration flask should not be rinsed. Because titration flask me, up consa volume dalrio jo already apne pipet out kara hai 10 ml ya 20 ml. So isme agar water droplets beach me rehabi gay. 
then number of moles of pipetted volume will remain same otherwise volume will increase so it should not be rinsed ab jab hum mohar salt according to board's instruction mohar salt or oxalic acid solution has to be prepared by students to we should know जब हम प्रिपरेशन ऑफ मोहर सॉल्ट करते हैं तो कुछ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड उसमें भी डाला होता है वट इज पर्पज इन मोहर सॉल्ट फेरस में अंडर गो हाइड्रोलिस तो इट इज टू प्रिवेंट हाइड्रोलिस ऑफ मोहर सॉल्ट होपफुली यू आर लाइकिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर लाइकिंग इट लाइक इट शेयर इट एंड इफ यू आर न्यू यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल next point while performing titration of potassium permanganate some dilute sulfuric acid is added one is during preparation of mohor salt second one jo abhi humne discuss kiya tha ki jab hum titration kar rahe hain to titration flask mein dilute sulfuric acid add kar rahe hain to can we replace it by dilute hydrochloric acid no put because KMnO4 is good oxidizing agent and it will oxidize HCl2 chlorine. Can we replace it by dilute HNO3? Again, big no. HNO3 is itself oxidizing agent. So, if it is itself oxidizing agent, then our quantitative measurement will be an error. Now, how to perform this titration? You can watch in my next video. where i have shown the experiment related with performance and how to calculate from the volume used of kmno4 so calculation part is also shown in that particular video so hopefully you like this video if you like it so just do not forget to share or subscribe the channel thanks for watching